Yo, family, what's going on? It's your boy Flink Pundi Set. Yep, that's correct. Any others got to feed family, so do not forget. Family, today is the first driving lesson of the manual transmission. So, we got the steering wheel, we got the gear shifter right here, the manual gear shifter, and then we got the pedals down below, as you will see from the other camera. Um, today's lesson is inspired by Richie Not Nice. So thanks, big big ups to Richie Not Nice for sharing this first lesson. And this lesson is all about balancing the clutch and making sure you get familiar with how the clutch feels and how the car feels and all that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do people, before we get right into it, a quick safety moment. The days are hot, is scorching, is, is like terrible. So. Make sure that you stay hydrated. Make sure you're drinking your water. <sighs> nice and refreshing. Make sure that you stay hydrated, people. Stay cool. And we're going to get right into this, people. So I want to choose a track that is quite similar to actual roadways. So it means that we got to stay on one side of the road and this will be more pronounced when we get into um, other driving lessons. But I, I want to practice on road-like tracks. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go on Tokyo Expressway. I'm just going to choose one of these ones. It, it doesn't have to be one specific one. We could alternate in between them. But we're going to do broad daylight. So we're going to practice in the afternoon and we're going to find a nice slow car to start off with. So we can do Mazda Roaster. Actually, I'm going to go in my garage so that you guys could influence the next car choice for the next um, driving session. But um, we're going to sort. Let's sort by power. So you could go all the way down, close to the bottom. You're going to start with a pretty slow car. 62 horsepower coupe. No, we, we're not going to go for that. We're going to go for a little more modern car. Fit? Sh should we do it? Should we do the Honda Fit? Yeah, I, I kind of feel in the Honda Fit, people. Let's do it. Let's do the Honda Fit, and then you guys could influence the next car choice. So actually in order for you guys to do that, I'm going to, um, crap. What's going on Flint? You're not on your game. So I'm gonna go by power again. And I'm gonna let you guys look at the cars that I have. So we're gonna gradually step up in power. We, we're not gonna go straight for the McLarens and the Mercedes and stuff like that. So this is the bottom row that I'm going to use. So we got the Honda Fit Hybrid 2014 model. That's what we're going to use in today's lesson to get familiar with the clutch. And you guys can choose from the next two rows. Um, actually from the next row, from just, just the row above that. So where you see the 86 GT 2015 model, the one that's at the top right now. Yeah, you can choose from those line, that line of vehicles right there. I might even let you go a little bit higher, like to the Clio RS and uh, the, the Renault Sport. So yeah, just, just choose whichever one you want me to use in the next session. But we're gonna use the Honda Fit Hybrid. Manual transmission, of course, because that's the deal. And yeah. I'm excited for this. Hope you guys are as well. Oh my god. I don't got the audio set properly. So that means. Ah. There we go. That should do the trick. Boom. Alright, people. So basically, in a nutshell, because. Richie Not Nice gave me a nice long explanation of the lesson. So just to cut things short, basically what I'm supposed to be doing is starting on a flat road, 
we're going to make sure that we get familiar with the clutch so we're going to put the car in gear um, ease off the clutch and wait until the car starts to move off and then stop it and just practice that we're going to try to listen to the engine to see what's happening there as well and we'll get more familiar with it now this track has this road has um, slight slopes down and up in certain sections so we're just going to go around the track feeling it out um, trying to stay on the flatter parts of the track as much as possible so without any further talking do people let's get right into this session start us out in second gear what we're going to do is brake push in the clutch put it in first gear now you guys get to critique what i'm doing right or wrong because obviously i don't have enough manual experience in order to understand what actually happens in the real world so counting on you guys to correct me so look at my feet as closely as you can i hope you can see clutch and the brake pedals um i miss my big white scruffy feet right now but uh, just just try to put me in the right direction anyways so he said let off the brake just keep your hands on the steering wheel i have the clutch in not okay should I be in neutral or something oh just have to make sure that was working the clutch is in it's still the car is still going Break, release. Break. Now, I I really don't know if this is how cars really behave, so you guys will let me know. But um, I still have the clutch dead in. Let's put it in neutral and see what happens. It's not selecting neutral. Is this because this is a... Okay, select and reverse. neutral come on what's happening it's not going to neutral what clutch in that's off the brake I can't get to neutral guys, this is weird. Alright. I knew that I could get to neutral in other cars. So what we're gonna do is swap cars. We're gonna swap cars with the Mazda Roadster. Let's see if this makes a difference. So we're gonna to come to a stop. Pushing the clutch. You see that people? Neutral. There we go. So we're gonna let off the brake. Try to release the clutch slowly. Uh, 
actually, I think we should be in gear. <laughs> so we in gear, let off the brake. So the car is not really moving. I guess because it actually is, but not, not by much. Boom. So this is behaving a, a little bit better than, than the Honda Fit. So we get off the brake, we got the clutch in, the car is in gear. So we'll move a little bit, and then I slowly release. Oh, I felt it, I felt it move forward, so that's good. Let's try this again, release the brake, let off the clutch slowly. Wait, oh, push back in the clutch, brake. So this is what we're gonna be doing all, all night, people, all night, just, just practicing this. Let off the brake off the clutch start to move forward push back in brake release the brake let's off the clutch so the car starts to roll back first push back in the clutch brake so what's happening is that the road is sloped backwards a little bit so when I let off the brake the car starts to roll back a bit which is normal due to gravity and then um, we release the clutch slowly and it engages and you, you could actually, if you look closely, you can see when the car actually responds to the clutch being oh, at a certain point. So release the brake, car starts to roll back, but we slowly release the clutch. There it is, starts to move forward. Now this is actually pretty good because I could tell when the car starts to, the inertia starts to overcome the gravity that's acting on the car, causing it to roll back. So this is actually good because this will let me know when the clutch is actually engaged. Uh, it's, it's about midway because I can't really feel it, but um, I could see it on the screen. So we're gonna keep doing that. Starts to roll back. There it is. Push it back in. Be slow. There it is. There it is. Release. There it is. There it is. So you kind kind of get a feel for when the clutch would engage. I can't really feel it, but like I said, I can see it. Um, there it is. Push back in. Brake. Release brake. There it is. So this exercise is a little bit visual for me right now. So I got to match visual and feel. But in, in, in real life, I could actually just feel everything. I don't really have to see. Like I, I don't have to use my visual as much um, for this. But that's just the differences, right? So here I have to watch to see when the car move forward and also feel where my foot is on the clutch um, gauge, right? So clutch gauge, what I'm talking about is either fully pressed, halfway or fully open. And I'm kind of using those two things, visuals and feel. In real life, you will just have all feel, really. So release the brake, start to move forward, push it back in. There it is. There it is. It's actually fun, and I, I gotta give Gran Turismo Sport some props on this, cause I mean, this is pretty. This is pretty neat. This is pretty cool. Take off my headlights. There it is. Break. Brake, brake. Gotta start steering. Release. Ooh. You feel that? That's clutch fully out. So we go on clutching. Brake. Push 
about the cutscene. This is actually pretty close to real life in terms of what's supposed to happen based on my research. If I let out too fast, it stalls. But obviously, these modern cars have something in place that stops it from doing that directly. But you, you can see that when you release the clutch slowly, it actually works. But if I release it fast, boom. Look at that. So that's pretty cool. So this is just balancing the clutch. I'm not gassing at all. Clutch fully in. Release. clutch fully out right there so you see what's happening so let's break practice what we're really supposed to be practicing 12 seconds later I'm gonna try to stay on one side of the road actually we should be like this let me see if I can show you guys the inside of the car uh, there's a shifter at the on the left There's no one there, but just pretend that there's someone there. I got my shift on the right, so that's what it's gonna be. So, have the clutch partially in. I don't know if this is how cars actually behave, but um, Side mirrors. Gran Turismo, please fix this nut. Like, it's so smooth there, and then you. Ooh. It's like smooth here, and then you. Like, snap back to the actual view. No matter how close you get, it still snaps back. And that's kind of weird. Anyways, pushing the brake, come to complete stop. Release. Machine. Release. Ooh. It's a pretty boring lesson, people. I know. But it'll help in this journey for sure. For sure, sure. Thank you for joining me on my first lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me some feedback, people. Really looking forward to that feedback and looking forward to my next lesson. Anyways, people, it's me, your boy, Flint. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, share the from with your friends. Peace. Peace. <laughs>